Well, good afternoon, friends. This is Dave from Dave's Raised Bed Garden. I got my handy dandy. I used this when I was coaching football and as this hat's been around, it's been weathered. Uh, so I brought it out because it's got the ear flaps and everything that what I can do to protect my head. And I'm actually out here uh, today at the garden. I have not been in a garden um, for a while. As you know, I had a procedure back on the 11th. I had to have a total left knee uh, re uh, a surgery on my left leg, excuse me. And uh, so I had to have that done and everything. And I've been taking it easy, kind of been having a little bit of issues with it and stuff. And that's from the block that they gave me. My nerves didn't want to fire and everything. And so it's been a little slow go for me. But I actually was able to come back down here because they, my, my therapist and everybody encourages me to walk, try to get more flexibility in my leg and everything. So I've come out here with my walker, come down here to the garden and everything. I was out here yesterday for a little bit and just kind of came around and was looking at it. I'm actually sitting on my stool that I have out here. I'm down here by my tomato plant, so I wanted to show you what I'm doing. Uh, for the past last year, um, I've been growing tomatoes since 2018. When I first started growing my tomatoes and everything, I just let them grow. And then I was learning more and more about them as, as far as removing the suckers. And then the different parts of the tomatoes, what you do is, is the different types of growing mechanisms or, or ways that you can do it and everything. And, and in the bed, what I decided to do last year is I decided to do single stem. I was very well pleased with it. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around here in a minute, but I have the tomato steaks that are actually in here. My tomato plants are still small. This past week was kind of unusual for, for May. It's unusually cooler and we had a lot of overcast skies so the sun wasn't really shining. Uh, today, really, I guess yesterday afternoon and today is just really when the sun has come out and everything is just really just warm things up. And these are warm weather plants so they like the warmer weather and everything. So I've had to come out here and just kind of get an eyeball and to do what I'm able to do. I'm, I'm, I'm only allowed to do so much anyway, but it allows me to come down here to investigate, to see what's going on and everything. And then even with that, what I can do right now is I can actually, because I'm sitting on the stool and they're actually tall enough to where I can actually put twine around them just to get them to, to the basis of where I'm trying to get them direction and the growing and everything. But there's two methods that I have really been encouraged about as far as growing tomatoes. And one of them is what I'm doing, the single stem. The other one is, is what we call the Florida weave. Um, I think next year, or if I do a late season, if I have more tomatoes, I'll show you what a, what a Florida weave is, is you're actually using string or twine, you are using tomato steaks, but you don't, you don't have the steaks on each individual plant. You actually have it down on the rows. And as the plant grows, you're, doing, you're weaving the twine or whatever you're using uh, the wire to, to keep them in line and everything. You can still do the single stem, but it's a Florida weave and what it does is it allows the, the plant to, to freely um, to flow with it with the wind. Where this with the twine, if I keep it too tight, it's going to be right up against the, the, the stake. And then if I keep it too loose, there's a possibility, especially when the tomatoes get on there, that they could break too. So it's two different methods. But again, this year I'm doing the single stem uh, growing uh, method and everything. So let me turn it around and, and let you see what the tomato plants look at today. So these are the, the tomato plants that I have. I have 11 in this bed. I've actually taken one and I put it in a pot. I've been sharing with you about container gardening and everything. These are fairly small. You can see where my hand versus the ground and everything is. Um, I just planted these right before I had surgery and uh, actually the weekend before. And so I had surgery on the 11th and you can just tell that I've had a little bit of growth in there. I've actually gone in and I can actually see some of the suckers and everything. But because of the, the weather, the cooler weather and everything, you know, I've talked about it before, is that what the cooler weather with the warm weather plants is that sometimes it can, it can just stun them enough to where they won't grow and they're trying to protect themselves. So hopefully what I'm going to be seeing is, is that because the temperatures today were up in uh, about, the, I guess, in the 80s, I guess, or close to it, I didn't really check the temperature, but it's warm out here now. And then with the sunshine we've had all day, I'm hoping with that and then watering the, the vegetables and everything that everything's gonna start taking off. I will be talking to you about fertilizer. Uh, we'll be talking to you about, there's two different types. One of them has been around for years and years and years and years as long as I can remember. 
And then the other one is the one that I've started uh, really showing and everything. I actually applied that to it yesterday. And so the plants and everything right now in the garden are just kind of, they're filling the pinch from the cool weather or whatever and everything. And so I'm having to deal with that. So when we talk about the single stem, very simply is, is that this is the main stem. I've shared a video about this before. And you see the stem goes all the way up. These leaves that we have right out here, these are called sun leaves. Um, they're there because they want the sun to apply to it, to the plant and everything. But what happens is, is that in between these, in between these branches, I, I don't have it today, I might've pulled it off, but here's one right here. This is what we call a sucker. You see this, this is right in the middle of that. What it is, is that I wanna decide as this grows right now, this is looking like the main stem up here at the top. Well, this is a little sucker that grows right in between there. So I'm gonna remove that sucker. I'm gonna take that and pinch that out. What I wanna do is, is that then when the branches grow and I get new ones, those will have the, the actual blooms on them. I actually had one or two yesterday that actually had some blooms on them, but it's still young. So these plants are young and I didn't want the, uh, the growth and everything, the hormone to go to the tomato. I'm not ready for that yet. These are young plants. They've only been in the ground since probably about the 7th or 8th of May. Um, so they haven't been in here long and everything, and I'm just trying to get them to grow. So I'm wanting, but what I do on single stem is that as this continues to grow and I get branch, uh, branches off to it, what it'll do is that I will decide what is my main stem and what is not. And then what I'll do is I'll tie the twine around here to keep it parallel or keep it even with the stake as it grows, continues, grows up, the, uh, the it gets taller, it gets bigger and everything. And then what these stakes will do is that why we do that is, is because with the tomatoes, these, what we want is the, we want the growth hormone to really concentrate on the body of it. So we want to allow it to grow, to get thicker, to get a stronger base and everything. That way, when it gets the tomatoes on there, it'll be strong enough to hold but why we do it up against a tomato steak is like this on single, st single stem is, is that it allows it where if the wind blows and tomatoes get on there, that hopefully I can keep it from breaking. Now, you can use the cages. You've seen the tomato cages, if you've probably seen them that look like a cone effect. Those basically, I think that they would be more, and I've seen a lot of people, I, I've never had real good luck with them. Because even though I've gotten four foot tall or anything, they, if I don't keep it, if I don't keep it pruned like I should, then what happens is, is that I get another leader that comes off of it. And you can do that. A lot of people will just let these tomato plants grow, and then they will still stake it up, but they won't, they won't prune them or cut the suckers off of it. But you'll have two or three leaders, which uh, another leader, which that's the sucker right there in the middle, is what I was talking about that becomes another leader. And on that leader, it's just like you've just taken this tomato plant and planted it in the ground. I can actually take that off and I can actually put it in water. And then when the roots started hearing and everything taking hold, then I can actually put it in the dirt and it'll actually be a t another tomato plant. But some people will do that and it based on it, but I don't want that. I want the single stem. I want to be able, because what it does is that with the single stem growth is that it allows me to have this area clean in between each tomato plant and it allows it to be able to grow and then I can get the air that I need, the air flow in there. Then the other thing is, is that the branches on the, the, the lower end, tomato plants do not like their, their branches down on the ground and they don't like that because they stay wet and then what it does is it causes bacteria and everything and then it can hurt and then hurt the tomato plant and then you're gonna have issues with your tomatoes too. So what we do is the tomato plant as it gets taller and I've already taken these off, is that I would remove the branches from the lower half and then I will uh, allow the air to flow through that because I want the growth to go upward. Now, the other thing you have to remember, these, these tomato plants are probably, the base of them are probably about six inches at a minimum in the ground. I, draw, I dug out a, a, an area and I already put those out. And so I've got the, the base of the roots are more than six inches right now in the ground at where they are. If I just put them in the ground where the roots are, they'd be a lot taller. But again, I want that, that base to get the roots and everything to allow it to get a stronger foundation to be able to allow it to grow. So what, what I'm doing is single stem, um, single stem uh, growing. Or, and so what I want to do is just have a single stem and to be able to allow, allow the tomatoes to grow up the stake. 
And when we're talking about a Florida weave, what I would do differently is, is that the stake on this end and then the stake on this end would be just right outside of where, and I would have one in the middle, probably three. If the rows are long enough, you could sp space them out about every three to four tomato plants. And what you would do is, is that you would start on the one end stake, and then basically you would figure eight or go the whole way around these tomatoes and then you'd either tie it off and then start another one and go back the opposite way and basically what you would do is that it would wrap around the the tomato plant allowing it to flow back and forth but it gives that freedom where you don't have it up against the stake and everything so if i was using that and i had a little longer bed i could actually do it with these is that uh, it, it takes away because the when the tomato plants start growing and everything and then you get the tomatoes on there with the stakes if you're not careful about your pruning and everything you don't really have a lot of room to get in there and work but with the weave with the florida weave you can actually have your tomato plants a little closer and then it allows that freedom to where when you're doing that figure eight or that weave around them is that what it does is that the pressure goes on the stake not on the tomato plant and then it allows it enough to, to be able to keep it stabilized where it keeps growing upward and then what I would do is when I would get about three foot up, maybe say about right here where my finger is or so forth, I would get a stronger wire and then I would go halfway down and halfway up. So at the bottom, I would start with a stronger cord and about three foot up or so, I would do it again. That way it gives it just a little stronger uh, weave and a stronger foundation to be able to grow on and everything. So that's what I do with my tomato plants. I've got 11 out here. I've got one in a pot up there uh, on my patio. And what I do is the single stem, the single stem um, pattern as far as the growing and everything using a tomato steak and then going out here and actually pruning. But what I'm doing is again, is I'm looking in between these branches where these things are, right where the one touches and another one up here, I wanna be able to get and take the, remove those suckers out. Because again, if I leave that sucker, and let's say that I can't get back out here for let's say another week, week and a half or so, those suckers, if I did not pick them, they will grow evenly to about the length of these branches. And what happens is if you're gone on vacation and so forth and you come back, then you got a whole nother leader. I've actually pruned them when they were actually like that. Now you feel like you're gonna hurt your plant, but you're not. Um, so that's one way that you do it. But this is what I do as far as the garden. You kind of look uh, around the garden, my, uh, my uh, spinach up here on the upper half right there, I'm showing you on the blue, where that blue bowl is on that side is done very well. My peppers are young on this back side, and then the other one I have peppers up there, and then I've got some butternut squash and everything. Then on that bed right there, I have some uh, more of the regular summer squash. And then this bed back here, I've got my zucchini and then uh, my cool weather plants that are covered up. I'm trying to keep those larva laying, uh, larva laying butterflies, the little white butterflies. I know you've seen them. If you, if you live out here in my zone, we have a lot of them. But those little butterflies will lay, they'll lay larva on those and those larva will be eggs. And then there'll be little worms and they'll get in all your cool weather plants. They love, they love the broccoli, the cauliflower, the cabbage and so forth and you'll open them heads up and you'll see worms all in them so that's one thing that i'm doing so by covering it with that net that kind of allows me to be able to protect it you know especially since i came to come down here and do what i normally would do on a normal basis if i didn't have to have this procedure that i had to have done so i hope that the little bit that i've been able to show you about what i do on my tomatoes and what i'm doing and making progress and as it goes and I hope it'll be something that you can find interest in. Um, if you're not really sure and you need more input about what uh, single stem uh, growing and everything the method is, is go on YouTube and look at, that's how I searched it out. You can also search out the uh, Florida Weave. Um, I believe with this bed, I think next year I'm actually gonna do that. I may do one row with the Florida Weave and then the other row I may just do with the single stem as far as with the stakes just so you can get an idea based on what I'm doing and everything. But it's always good. I think it's a good rehab to be out here uh, mentally and physically because I'm having to walk down here and I'm having to use the assistance of a walker, but it allows me to try to get the flexibility in my leg. But also mentally is, is that, you know, with the total knee replacement and everything, 
One of the biggest things that I've had an issue with is I don't sleep at night. I sleep for about two hours, maybe two and a half at the most and everything. And then I get up because either my knee's stiff, my legs are hurting or everything, and I gotta get up and move around. And then I try to lay down. So my, my sleep pattern is broken up. I sleep all different times of the day right now. So that's the issue that I'm having with that. But this being out here, even on a warm day and sitting down here on my stool and kind of doing my flexibility exercises that I need to do with my leg, it gets me out here in the garden, it allows me to see what I'm doing, and then it helps me prepare myself as a gardener as I move forward throughout the summer and everything. And I just thank you for being a part of Dave's Raised Bed Garden. I thank you for just taking the time to watching my videos and everything. And, and I just hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful rest of the weekend. And, and then next week as it moves forward and everything, I can't wait to show you my first tour uh, of, the, of the garden and everything. And that'll be when the flowers start blooming and I start seeing a little, little evidence of things that are growing and stuff and better. And I just can't wait for you to see what's going on down here in the garden and some other things that I'm moving forward with and stuff as, as I'm preparing and as I'm doing and everything. And just thank you again. Hit my like button, go on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'll go directly to you every time that if you're on YouTube that you'll see that notification and you can actually see the video. And, and the, you know, you can also, if you don't choose to do that, Go to my Facebook page. I show a lot, a lot of uh, uh, gardeners and everything that I use. I do several of them. One is up north and one is down just a little south from me. Um, and then there's several of them that I go to and everything. And I try to give you information that what I'm learning by and what I've been able to do and to be able to help you too. And I, again, I thank you for being a part of, of Dave's Raised Bed Garden. And until next time, God bless you and take care.